Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this video, I want to talk about covert narcissists. So we have different types of narcissists, but the covert narcissists, we call, it's known as the closet narcissists. These narcissists have a personality disorder in the DSM-5. They meet the criteria of having a grandiose import, self-importance. They exploit people. They believe that other people have to revolve around their world and their needs. And they lack empathy. They're not able to have empathy for other people because they don't have that capacity, emotional intelligence to actually be empathetic. And so a covert narcissist, when you barely meet them, is going to come off as very innocent, very childlike, very charismatic, and just this cute, shy, little humble person. They're going to want to love bomb you and prove themselves to you by asking you if they can do something for you. Oh, can I throw the trash for you? Oh, can I help you with this? Can I help you with that? The reason why they're asking, they're, they're telling you that they wanna help you is because when they help you, they're expecting you to do a lot for them in return after they did something nice. It always comes with a price. Whatever nice things they do for you, it always comes with a price. And so a covert narcissist is also going to tell you, oh, I'm such a good person. Everybody thinks I'm a good person. My friends say how good of a person I am. And, and everybody just thinks they're this really good person. They're gonna wanna convince you that they are actually a decent human being. And as the time passes by, they're going to start sharing with you some sob stories, some stories that happened in their life, but they're very twisted and they're, they lie about it. So they'll say, oh, my mom was abusive and all my exes were abusive and all my exes cheated on me and they treated me so bad. No one ever appreciated me. I did so much for people and I never got, I never got the validation and the appreciation of what I did for everyone. So they're going to manipulate you by giving you a sad story of something that happened to them and they want you to feel bad for them and they want to gain your pity. That way you can feel that you have to somehow make them feel better about themselves and feed their ego. And so as that happens, you're going to see how they're going to continue to be nice with you and while they love bomb you and they're still in the idealization phase. As time continues passing by, you're going to see a little bit of small cracks in their mask. You're gonna see how sometimes they're very cold, they're very emotionally distant, they lack emotion, they have no personality, no identity. They start becoming envious of you and you can easily tell when someone's envious of you by the things that they say. Like, oh, you're so pretty, you're, you're prettier than me. You're more, you're more attractive than I am. And they want you to somehow be like, no, you're actually, you're good looking too. Like, don't worry. They want you to feel bad for them so you can boost their ego. And that's what a covert narcissist will do. So, then you're going to see how they're going to future fake. They'll tell you, oh, I'm, I'm always gonna be your friend, I'm gonna be there for you. Whenever you need something, I'll be there for you. But whenever the time actually arrives that you actually do need something from them, they're going to leave you hanging on a string and they're not going to do what they tell you. It's all future faking. They're faking it just because they want you to continue to do stuff for them while they're just making promises that they're going to be there and help you and this and that, but it's all a bunch of lies and manipulation. So the covert narcissist will start being envious. So I'm going to give you an example. I was happy. I was listening to my music, dancing, and the covert narcissist just appears in the room and she gave me this evil stare. It's called the narcissistic stare. They look at you with so much envy and hate and because they don't like the fact that you're happy and they want to make you feel bad about yourself because they feel that whatever you have, they feel that they deserve. 
So anything good in your life, they feel, oh, I deserve that too. And that's why they start competing with you. They'll start competing with you and trying to like one-up you, everything that you say. They want to one-up you and act like they're more intelligent, like they know more than you. And they try to bring you down by making you feel inferior to them. Just so they can feel like they're on top. Because a narcissist, especially a covert, always needs to feel superior to you. They need other people to feel that they're below them. So that's another thing. Now let's talk about a narcissist mirroring you. A narcissist will mirror you as well. The way that you behave, they're going to um, study you. They're going to observe you a lot because they need to study the way that you behave in order to make themselves attracted to you. It's all about them. A narcissist, everything is about them. It's never about you. So whenever they hurt you, it's because they need to feel better about themselves. Whenever they treat you with love, it's because they need validation. They need you to give give them love back because they need to feel good. Everything's about them. So with a narcissist, you can't you can't really think that they're hurting you because they don't like you. It's all about them. So the world is everything revolves around them. So the narcissist will also disappear on you. So this happened. The narcissist, a covert narcissist, will be very subtle in the ways that they abuse you. They won't directly abuse you in your face and insult you right in your face, in front of you. The covert narcissist will do it behind your back in very sneaky, subtle ways. They're very passive aggressive. So you're going to see how you do something and they disapprove. They're going to make you know that by the way that they look at you with disapproval. They stare you down. They try to make you feel bad about yourself. Whenever you're doing something good, they want you to feel just shitty about yourself. And they'll also play certain music. They'll, they'll send subtle, subtle messages to try to bring you down. So the covert narcissist that I was with was listening to this song that says, you don't have no car, you don't have no money. All while she was listening to that song, she was staring at me to try to get me to emotionally react. So a narcissist will provoke you. They will try to push your buttons because they're studying your weaknesses, they're studying your triggers, and they want to push your buttons in order to make you emotionally react to them. And when they get that emotional reaction, that's when they feel that they're in control of you because they feel powerful because they control your emotions. So in the narcissist's minds, they always need that control over people. And they'll do that. They'll provoke you in order to get that emotional reaction to control you. And so that happened. I reacted emotionally because I was just fed up with the way that she was acting towards me. And I called her out. I told her, you're very insecure. You you are, you are. need to love yourself. What's wrong with you? And she just stared at me. The covert narcissist just stared at me with this blank face. Because that's when you know they're a narcissist. When they look at you with this blank stare. And it's a blank stare that has no emotion. There's no... It's just, it's just emptiness when you stare at them. You don't see anything. All you see is their dark soul. Like, it's creepy. It's super duper creepy if you were to see how they stare at you whenever you call them out. They, they're confused because they don't expect that out of you. And what ended up happening after that, she disappeared. So a covert narcissist does not like confrontation. They love to provoke people but they're very cowardly. Whenever it comes down to actually resolving something and confronting the problem, they run away. They end up ghosting you for like a while and then they wanna come back and pretend as if nothing happened. And they'll pretend as if everything is normal again. They'll tell you, oh, hi, how have you been? Oh, everything's so great and this and that. So they want you to forget what happened. And the discarding phase, whenever they see that you don't have, that you're not willing to put up with their um, abuse, that you're not willing to put up with them taking, trying to take advantage of you, and they notice that you know that they're a narcissist, that's when they leave you alone. Because they know that you know who they are, and that's the narcissist's biggest fear, because they need to pretend they need to create a false sense of identity in order for people to like them. And when you know who they actually are behind that mask, 
that is one of their biggest fears is being figured out. So the covert narcissist, I was quickly to, I was quickly able to detect that she was a covert narcissist because I've actually experienced being involved with a covert narcissist for a long time of my life. And so this covert narcissist came into my life and I was very quickly able to detect all the abuse, all the manipulation that she was trying to do. Another reason that you know they're a narcissist is that they start devaluing you. So how does it start with being lovey-dovey, lovey, loving you, everything about you is perfect, to all of a sudden I hate you, all of a sudden everything's wrong with you, I need to criticize you and put you down? That's how you know you're dealing with a narcissist. When they switch up from hot, super duper hot love and everything to super cold out, out of a sudden. So that's another thing about narcissists. And another thing about narcissists is that they also, covert narcissists especially, they play like they're dumb. They play like they're confused. They try to misunderstand you on purpose. So you tell them something, I don't appreciate you doing this. The covert narcissist is going to do it again and you continue to tell them, didn't I tell you that I don't appreciate you doing this to me? They're going to act as, oh, I didn't know, I, I wasn't aware, of this and that. But deep down, they intentionally want to, want to um, ignore what you want and end up doing what they want because everything's about them and they need to make you feel unimportant. So that is a little bit of what a covert narcissist will try to do to you if you allow them to. Once you set your boundaries and you don't allow them to try to play games with you, that is when the game is over. Because the narcissist thinks that as long as you play their game, there's a relationship. So the way that you end the relationship is you become, you stonewall them. You become like a stone whenever they want to try to feed off of your good energy or your bad energy because they any any type of energy to a narcissist is is going to feed their ego if it's good energy if it's bad energy they just need that energy to keep them feeling like they're alive and like they they're somebody in the world another sign of a narcissist is that they're very needy they need constant attention a narcissist will try to get your attention in several ways. They will walk past by you. They will try to um, show up in places that you are all of a sudden just because they need you to acknowledge their presence because they're, they're the best thing on earth and you need to acknowledge the narcissist whenever they come around. And the creepy thing about a narcissist is that they stare at you for a long time they literally, their eyes are glued to you. Like, the narcissist that I, I, I experienced, I was just minding my business on my phone, and I turn around, and the covert narcissist is staring at me like no tomorrow. Like, staring at me for a good five minutes nonstop, and it was the most creepiest, scariest, weirdest thing ever i was like why is she staring at me so hard but the reason why a narcissist stares at you so hard is because they need your attention and so they're going to try to get your attention by staring at you for a long time because they need you to finally acknowledge them or they need something from you and they're trying to make you look at you as if they're um, admiring you and they're appreciating your presence and they're acknowledging your beauty and everything the reason why they're staring at you so hard is because they want to get something out of you. And so they have to try to make you feel like you're so important, but they're fixated on you. A narcissist doesn't see you as your own individual person. They see you as this, this person that is just meant to be used and me meant to be taken advantage of and whatever they want, you have to somehow um, follow their rules and their regulations. And yeah, that is what I've experienced of a covert narcissist. And when you hang out with them, you're going to soon realize that there's nothing interesting about a narcissist. They're really basic. They try to make you feel like you're basic and they try to criticize all the good things about you and criticize 
the cool stuff about you, like your hobbies and what you're interested in, they will tear everything that you like down. But when you start being around them, you're going to realize how boring they are. They have no personality. They literally, what they do is they spend most of their time watching movies, um, manipulating people, using people, and they have no personality, no identity. They don't know who they are. So you're going to hang out with a zombie and you're going to be bored because everything that you talk with them about, it's going to just constantly be about them and them and all their achievements and it gets tiring because their conversations are so superficial and they don't really care what you have to say in conversations they just want to hog up the whole relation the whole conversation just so you can um focus on them so be very careful with these covert narcissists they appear to be innocent and sweet but live with them you're going to soon realize that there's a whole different side to them that is cold, it's callous, manipulative, selfish, self-absorbed, um, envious, greedy, self-destructive. They'll sabotage you, criticize you, um, control you. So it's not worth it. So get rid of these narcissists out of your life and do not feel bad for them because... They want to destroy you and you must not allow any narcissist back into your life stay as far away as you can from these evil wicked narcissists because they're not gonna bring nothing good into your life they're just gonna destroy your life thank you guys for watching and i hope this video helped you guys and i hope you guys were able to learn a little bit more about covert narcissists thank you guys continue to be yourself continue to Share that light with the world. Bye.